I'm sure our next guest can put that in perspective. Arizona Attorney General Mark Bronovich joins us now. Uh, AG, thanks so much for being here. Appreciate your reaction to what the president said, his priorities. <laughs> You know, this, I, David, I've got a theory that um, what happened was someone, one of Joe Biden's staffers said to him, hey, we're going to go visit a chip plant in Arizona. And he said, I love tortilla chips. Let's get out there. And um, <laughs> he didn't realize he was visiting a microprocessing plant, which, by the way, so everyone watching knows, was in the works for years and has already been being built way before the federal government or Joe Biden, you know, decided to and do anything about it. The reality is, is that the number one threat facing this country today is our insecure border. And by any objective measurement, if you look at the number of people on the terror watch list being apprehended, you look at just this last month, 73,000 gotaways, David. I mean, that's more than 2,000 people a month mm. that are gotaways. And then you throw on top of it, nearly 5 million people have entered this country illegally since Joe Biden became president. It's like the entire population of Louisiana. So we're paying a cost with record amount of drug overdoses, people on the terror watch list sneaking in and the cartels seizing control of our southern border. How can that not be the most important issue? And immigrants themselves who have died, who have died uh, crossing, the, crossing the Rio Grande, who have died in cars that are overpacked or, or been yeah. involved in car crashes uh, or dying in the desert. I mean, it's over 800 immigrants have died in the past year as well. So, uh, by the way, border agents have put together uh, sort of their response to what the president said. They said visiting an ice cream shop, very important. Visiting our border where illegal immigration deaths escape and fentanyl smuggling set new records uh, nonstop with thousands dying as a result, not important, and they go on. I mean, it's they themselves, those, those men and women who are on the line, so many of whom, by the way, have, have perished themselves as a result of, of the work that they do, uh, they, their frustration must have reached a breaking point. Well, well, you know, David, I'm a first generation American, and the reason why people flee communism, they flee ty tyranny, is because the United States is all about the rule of law and these sacred documents, the Constitution and the, and the Declaration of Independence. And what Joe Biden is doing with the lawlessness, with the chaos, by basically decriminalizing and incentivizing people to break the law, he is undermining the very reasons why immigrants have wanted to come to the United States for generations. And I'll tell you, my mom, a lot of her friends from countries like the former Yugoslavia, Montenegro, Serbia, Poland, Croatia, Hungary, they are all very upset at what Joe Biden's doing because they yeah, played by the absolutely. rules to get into this country. My, my wife's uh, from Nicaragua, and my stepson is from Nicaragua. He became a U.S. Marine. In fact, he became a citizen over in Afghanistan when he was on tour there. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, they themselves believe in the rule of law more than anything else. It's the jumping the line that bothers a lot of immigrants that came here the right way. Uh, by the way, I want to ask, switch gears a little bit now ask about your lawsuit uh, to prevent the, the student loan bailout that's going to cost $500 billion, billion with a B, to American taxpayers, many of whom aren't going to benefit at all from it. Well, it's unnecessary, unfair, and unconstitutional. And in fact, I've taken on the higher education establishment in Arizona. The uni public universities now are the largest real, real estate developers in a place like Arizona. They have these huge endowments, and they have a lot of political power now in the various states. Public universities were designed to be the ticket for upward mobility for middle class and working class families like my own. And instead, what's happened is, is the government incentivizes and has gotten more involved in higher education. We've seen the price go straight up like a rocket. Yep. I mean, there's a great graph the American Enterprise Institute has that shows if you look at consumer goods like TVs and radios and phones, you know, they stay the same or, you know, decrease based on inflation. It's higher education and health care that have gone straight up like a rocket in the last 15 years. And what those two industries have in common is the federal government gets more involved. They become inefficient, mm -hmm. more bureaucratic, and more expensive. Yeah. The, oh, the, it, it, again, it's not just the price that goes up in tuition. It is the number of bureaucrats, the number of, of people that don't really do anything with about education that are just filled in there because they can afford to do it because taxpayers are bailing them out. Mark Bronovich, great to see you again. Thank you for being Thank here, you. IG. Appreciate it.